The selection has provided the chance for many third-party candidates to rise, some with more success than others. We'll begin with a report from Josh Pontell on Gary Johnson, the Libertarian nominee. Gary Johnson is running for president under the nomination of the Libertarian Party along with his running mate Bill Weld. Johnson was the former governor of New Mexico from 1995 to 2003. As a libertarian, he supports cutting taxes, increasing free trade, upholding the Second Amendment, allowing amnesty for illegal immigrants, abortion, and gay marriage. In general, Johnson supports policies that are a combination of liberal and conservative ideas. Despite Johnson's above-average appeal for being a third-party candidate, he has had some significant slip-ups on the news. What would you do if you were elected? About Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. According to the Real Clear Politics average, Johnson is currently polling at 4.7%, which is down from his best polling at 9.2% in September. The next third party candidate we'd like to address is Dr. Jill Stein, the Green Party nominee. Stein's campaign is considered very similar to that of Bernie Sanders, calling for reforms to campaign finance, a complete shutdown of carbon emissions, much higher taxes on the upper class, among others. At one point during the DNC, Jill Stein joined in with the protesters. As she marched along with the protesters, I was able to make my way through the crowd so I could ask her this question. What do you think of Bernie Sanders addressing Hillary? I think it's very sad. I think it's heartbreaking. I hope he will see the light now that the emails have revealed how Hillary and the DNC were plotting against him and sabotaged his campaign. I think it's time for Bernie to withdraw his endorsement of Hillary and join us in the Green Party for the building this revolution. Thank you. We'd also like to talk about Evan McMullen, the nominee of the Independent Party of Minnesota. He is currently polling at 26.5 in Utah, the state on which he is focused most. While Trump has a lead in Utah, McMullen still has a fighting shot. Out of these three candidates we are highlighting, he has the best chance of actually winning a state. Maxwell Lease has more on McMullen. Evan McMullen is a Mormon member of the Independent Party who came to the race a little bit late in early August of this year. Despite his late entering, he has a good chance of winning his home state of Utah, which he is four points above Trump and about seven points above Clinton. What makes him so popular there? Well, his independent status is mostly to differ himself from Trump's campaign, as he feels like the hashtag Never Trump conservatives are backed into a corner from this election, unsure on who to vote for. So he's pretty much here to offer a supposedly less irrational conservative choice. Remember McMullen's name because if it's a close election, he could end up as a spoiler if he wins Utah, as it could deny both candidates of the necessary 270 electoral votes. If that happens, the president would be decided by a vote in Congress. We would like to take this chance to acknowledge that although these are not the only third-party candidates we are addressing, there are others. Daryl Castle is the Constitution Party nominee. He calls for Christianity and the Constitution as the two strict guiding principles of this nation, a withdrawal from the United Nations, a ban of abortion, and an end to the Federal Reserve. He is polling at less than 1%. Chris Keniston of the Veterans Party no is the Veterans Party nominee, calling for a balanced budget, non-interventionism, immigration, abiding strictly by the Constitution, and ending Common Core. He is polling at less than 1%. There is also Vermin Supreme, an independent candidate who has been running uh, since 1988 under a platform of toothbrushing laws and a pony-based economy. We're mentoring Vermin because Ben here is a big fan and interviewed Vermin at the DNC. Here's a small clip. My name is Vermin Supreme. I'm a friendly fascist. I'm a tyrant that you can trust and you should let me run your life because I know what is best for you. Why here? Why at the DNC are you uh, uh, mobilizing support? Well, this is, uh, I have a lot of supporters in the uh, Democratic Party. I have a lot of supporters in the protest community. Uh, I have a lot of supporters in the police department in Philadelphia and generally. Um, it's a national security event and I always like to attend them as, as much as I can um, to help my constituents uh, freely assemble and exercise their First Amendment rights. Interestingly enough, Vermin played a large role in de-escalating fights during DNC protests. Find out more about that online.